How much different would your life look if you made $1,000 every single day from affiliate marketing, which means you wouldn't have to deal with customer service, you wouldn't have to deal with actually fulfilling whatever you're selling people, and best of all, you don't even have to be selling your own product. Well, by the end of this video, you're gonna have the exact step-by-step -step blueprint on how you can get started with affiliate marketing in 2023, because personally, I make over $1,000 every single day from affiliate marketing, and I wanna share with you exactly how I did it, because all I see out there on the internet is bad information when it actually comes to affiliate marketing. So if you wanna make more Money online, you want to get started with affiliate marketing, drop shipping, or like I just said, make more money online, please make sure you smash that subscribe button because I'm going to help you do it. Step number one, you need to get rid of all prior knowledge that you have. There is so much bad knowledge out there and the guaranteed best way to fail with affiliate marketing is by starting with your affiliate marketing offer. I see so many individuals do this and it is by far the worst thing that you could do. You start with something and say, hey, I wanna sell this and then you try to sell it to people and you wonder why you don't get views on your videos, why nobody comes to your blogs, why nobody's ultimately buying your product is because you didn't actually build trust. You didn't actually build an audience and the worst thing that you could possibly do is try to sell something to somebody and you have no idea who they are and they have no idea who you are, which is why the real step number one to getting started with affiliate marketing is determining what kind of audience you're going to be going after. And you need to be thinking about who are they? What kind of problems do they have? And where do they hang out? And then you need to begin creating content on whatever platform they're on. Now this could be Twitter, this could be Reddit, this could be you going door to door. It doesn't matter what it is, but you need to understand where they actually are and then you need to have a clear way to be able to reach them. And then you need to begin creating content, you need to begin creating value, and ultimately Ultimately, you need to barge yourself into the conversation that these people are having online. Because if you want to get paid through affiliate marketing, the best way to be able to do it is to actually build up an audience, build trust, and then you're able to sell to that audience. Now, when it comes to actually building your audience, all you have to do is identify who you're going to be going after, and then you need to identify where those people hang out. Once you have where they hang out, you need to begin creating content there, you need to begin responding to comments there, you need to begin interacting with people there, and you need to understand something. This isn't going to happen in a day. It's not going to happen in two days. It's going to take you at least 90 days to be able to build up that initial audience so that you can then sell something. But trust me, it is way easier to build an audience, sell something, make a recurring revenue on that, than to never get started. And that's a situation that a lot of you guys are in right now. You keep saying, oh, I have this product. I'm going to go sell it. But Timmy, you have zero followers. Or Karen, you have 100 followers. And that is why nobody's actually buying your product. And if you begin creating content with the mindset of this is the thing that I'm going to sell these people, well, then that's one of the reasons that you're going to be unsuccessful. So the first thing I need to make sure that you're doing is building up that audience. The second thing you need to make sure that you do is you need to figure out what kind of products these people already use. Are they already using certain softwares? Are they already using certain services and then you need to find out whether or not those services or those softwares have an affiliate offer because the best thing you want to do is make money on autopilot and the only way that you make money on autopilot is if people sign up for something and they're happy with it because if people sign up and they do a refund or they do a chargeback well then guess what you're not going to get your affiliate commission that's why affiliate commissions are paid out on average on a 30 to 60 day basis the reason being is because whoever is collecting the money wants to make sure that nobody's going to refund nobody's going to do chargeback. Nobody's going to do anything crazy like that, which is exactly why you need to make sure that you're actually selling people something that they want, something that they're going to use, something they're going to provide value from, which is why I strongly recommend that you pull that audience and find out what things they're already using. For example, if I was to do something like this, and I do do something like this, I would do it for vidIQ because I make so many videos about how to grow on YouTube. So it's actually really simple for me to sell to that how to grow on YouTube audience vidIQ because I know it's a tool that works because I use it myself in order to grow on YouTube. You guys get where I'm going here? This is exactly why whatever audience you should be going after, you should actually be somebody that is within that audience. If it's finance, if it's fashion, if it's fitness, it doesn't matter what it is, but you need to actually be somebody within that audience so you can determine what kind of tools this audience uses so that you can go and get affiliate deals to be able to promote those things. Because ultimately, that's what's going to make you a successful affiliate marketer. I see so many people out there claim to make six figures, claim to make seven figures, and you have no idea who they are. So I'm probably going to guess that they don't actually make that much money because they don't have a huge audience. So who on earth are they possibly selling this stuff to? And now, I don't want you to get confused and think that you need a large audience like 500,000 subscribers or a million subscribers in order to actually make money with affiliate marketing. That's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is you actually need a captive audience and you need people to trust you. And without getting views somewhere or a following somewhere, I just highly doubt that somebody has actually built up an affiliate marketing business. Like I said before, I made all of my money with affiliate marketing from vidIQ and from other tools like it because I'm promoting it to people that want to grow on social media and that's who my audience is and that's who I 
TikTok gotten over 25 million views from. So unless you see somebody with that kind of criteria, they're probably not actually making money from affiliate marketing. And you won't make money from affiliate marketing either if you don't actually have an audience like that, which is why I beg you, you need to implement this last tip. That being said, one other mistake that I want to make sure that you avoid is just selling to your audience. You need to first capture your audience's first party information. This could be their phone number or this could be their email. You need to have either of those two things so that you can do a few things. One, you can actually own the relationship with that customer because if all you're doing is promoting somebody else's product, guess what you're not getting? That first party information. And if you don't have that first party information, it's not your customer. Instead, this company is just leveraging you to go create content for them to get them customers and then they can sell more things to that customer. Well, you want to be able to do that same exact thing, which is why you need their phone number, which is why you need their email so that you can continue to sell things to people because that's how you really make money. If you have three affiliate offers that you work with and instead of just getting people to sign up for one, you could get them to sign up for three. Well, then guess what? You're going to make triple the amount of money. You are going to help triple the amount of people. And ultimately you're going to make way more money and have way more success with affiliate marketing. Now, if you want to learn how to build up a huge audience on YouTube so that you could rank for search and get paid 24 seven from affiliate marketing, I strongly suggest you check out this video about the YouTube algorithm that I just created because it literally tells you exactly how to get views and how to get subscribers on YouTube, which is one of the best areas for you to build an audience for you to sell something to.